All right, I just got back uh, into Seattle from, from Orlando, or not just Orlando, Ocala. So I flew in from Orlando, and I wanted to just give you guys a summary of uh, the event I went to. So this was sort of a quote-unquote medical freedom con uh, uh, conference where I was asked to be as part of a nutritional panel. And so many of the people there would be people that were probably made notorious from the uh, pandemic. They're guys like Robert Malone. Uh, Ryan Cole, Pierre Corey, all those guys, you know, interesting perspectives. Uh, it sort of <laughs> gave me more sort of concern about the uh, sort of the untrustworthiness of the pharmaceutical industry, which is, which is, I don't have a lot of trust for it to start with. But um, the good news is the message about meat was very well received. And in fact, I had a number of physicians, I don't know how many, several physicians that came up to me that say they are employing a carnivore diet in their practice with wonderful success. They are really, really seeing this turn around. And so um, I think we're slowly winning, guys. I really do. I think this is this is, this is is taking off. I mean, it's, I, 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 you know, every time I travel, I run into people that sort of recognize me, understand the message they're doing carnivore. And, and I always, almost, you know, without exception, see people uh, receiving uh, just tremendous benefits. And so, uh, you know, why would you not uh, quit quit doing this. So, you know, several messages I've been asked to speak, gosh, all over the dang world. So I'll be, again, traveling, you know, traveling kind of beats you up a little bit, but you know, it's, 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 uh, what's, what's needed to be done. I know at, at the end of this month, I'll be going back on Rogan's podcast. So, um, so the message is going to get out there guys and you can't, you know, like I said, the truth is like a lion, you know, you just let it out and it'll, it'll do what it needs to do. And so I think that's what's happening here. It's hard to deny, you know, there's a lot of things they can gaslight you about, but one thing they can't gaslight you about is if you feel better, if you get healthier, that's pretty obvious for you to tell. All these other things, climate, whatever, whatever, it's tough to know for sure. But one thing you do know is yourself. And so I think this is why this message will not stop, cannot be stopped. And for all of you that help share that message of, of you know, personal success, uh, you know, helping other people get started, that's that's an unstoppable force. And like I said in the, in the uh, uh, in the closing remarks of, of the of the of that uh, conference, people are asking, you know, what do you what is what is your message? And I think, really, um, there are people out there that don't have your best interest in mind. Stop giving them money, right? That's just what I've got to say. Stop giving them money. Giving them money gives them power, and you see what they do with their power. So, start, you know, it starts out by us getting healthy, and the only way you do that is by stop eating the garbage food, stopping dependent upon the garbage drugs. And uh, so every time, remember, every time you go to the store and you buy the garbage, you make them more powerful, right? And you and you lessen your power. You lessen how much uh, ability you have to control your own fate. You know, you become disempowered. So empower yourself, get healthy, and let's come together and, and defeat evil. All right, guys, I got to drive home. We'll talk to you soon.